As the grid lined up for race one, the front row was one of the most competitive lineups of the season, but it didn't include the World Championship leader, James Tozer, who started for the second row. On pole, Haga was out to create history for his team and himself. He'd never won at Monza, and Yamaha hadn't won here since 1992 with Fabrizio Curvano. First, Haga would have to hold off Bayliss Biaggi and Corsa on the run down to the first corner. Let's go to the start of the race now with your commentators, Scott Smart and Jonathan Green. James Toza, the championship leader. Away we go for race one, a great start from Bayliss, but Biaggi's got away well too. And across they go now, trying to find position. Tozen's in the middle of the mix. He comes against uh, Kagiyama for a moment there, but it is Max Biaggi who leads the way into the first corner. Oh, oh does it, and Bayliss flies through, no brakes. Uh, oh, it was Lanzi, and he puts his hand up to say, yeah. Places. In fact, it looks like Mugridge might be looking to pass Bayliss. So, Bayliss, the speed of the Ducati is just a real handicap, especially the first part of the race when everyone needs to do it together. Well, Bayliss is the big surprise in many ways from the start of this race. Not expecting him to see him that far back, especially after the start he got. He got off the line brilliantly. Uh, Hagen now coming through. He's got past uh, Maggiaggi and Kagiyama. Lesmo 2, Hager's right there as they head down the hill and surely Hager's going to have a look at the inside. Look at them, they are wheel to wheel, under the bridge they come. Hager pops out, looks up the inside towards Ascari, the crowd will go nuts. And as he does take the lead. Hager, he just had to roll off, he's got squeeze with the left kick after the Lesmo before he came in into Ascari. You can see from the previous lap just how strong he was into Ascari. The Honda using all its horsepower down the back straight. Defensive line from Hager. Tozen will use the speed of the Honda to try and go around the outside. Parker defends it nicely into Parabolica. The run flows, that's just too much. Oh, a moment there for Hager. He loses time and gives Tozen the lead again. Second gear through here, holding it in second here. And this is where Parker uh, looks so good, coming out of this corner and then down the hill. He just gets the slipstream here. He'll go right in uh, James' slipstream on the inside, come down the hill, through the woods and under the bridge, and then will pop out as he does now to take the lead of Ascari. He's done it perfectly. Like dancing around on the brakes, it's quite a bump in the way. You can see where the front end's so loaded, he tries to pull the back wheel in. Now, how would you play this? Let me put you on that uh, Tencada Honda, and how would you play Hager here? Would you just stay with him and stay in second, or would you do what Tozen's doing, which is take, overtake at any moment? Well, we know James is physically strong, so he doesn't tie around towards the end of the race. However, Hager is pretty well known for being able to stick it to him and do that too. If I were them, I'd just stop messing around just to get away so he knows him between you two. So at worst, oh, is that closer? Who might like dead, or is he just run out of race track? Just run out of race track, yeah. Yeah, she just ran in too deep and she just came. I mean, no 
no pressure at all. Well, act towards Kerber Grander for the last time. Harger into Parabolica for the last time. We saw him sliding here earlier, but now he's all grip. And he waves to the ground, such confidence. What a race for Nitro Nari. He gives us the sign of victory, and what a victory it is. A famous one, his second win of the year. He won at Donington, and he now wins for the first time ever at Monza. And on the podium also will be Troy Bayliss. A superb race in every respect. Totally had taken a gamble with a softer tyre that didn't work out, but he still finished fourth. Harger was on brilliant form, taking the win as Bayliss and Biaggi battled for the line. Bayliss picking up valuable points for second place to help in his title defence. I'm very happy for this result because, uh, especially here, uh, our house, our home, and uh, whenever we here, and uh, since we are just getting only twice, but uh, today I.